If that guy had such connections, he himself would be in Canada. If he had such connections, he would send all his family members there. I brought you guys breaking news today. This is what is breaking right now. EFCC arrests alleged serial Canadian visa fraudster, scammer. This happened in Abuja and it is on punch, on punch. So I got that news on punch. So I thought to bring it to you today for those of you that don't like to do your due diligence before you engage the services of an agent. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. My name is Ijeoma, and on this channel, I encourage you to do things yourself concerning your study in Canada, applying to schools in Canada, and even applying for your study permit. So this news broke, and I thought to bring it to you, and to, let me read the news first before I make my comments, all right? The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on Friday, the 17th of March, arrested one in Ogumba Migbe, an alleged visa serial scammer who specializes in duping Nigerians desperate to migrate to Canada, either to work or further their education through fake visa and job offers. Hmm, okay. The 32-year-old who owns a garden in Mpape, a suburb of Abuja, was picked up at Transcop Hotel Abuja by operatives of the anti-graft agency when he responded to an appointment to procure a visa for an applicant intending to migrate to Canada. Unknown to him that, unknown to him that it was bait. They trapped him. They trapped him, they baited him, and he fell for it. The EFCC's Director of Media and Publicity, Wilson Wujarin, revealed this in a statement obtained by our correspondent on Friday. <laughs> Interesting. He noted that this guy's arrest followed a petition by a victim who lost 5 million naira to the suspect as processing 5 million naira, who lost 5 million naira to the suspect as processing fees for visa to Canada. Now, let me pause here. When you're applying for visa to Canada, if it is study permit, it is 150 Canadian dollars. Then if you need to do biometrics, that one is 85 Canadian dollars. So when you add it up, it gives you the total, 200 and something that you're supposed to pay. Then, if it is visitor's visa, this one, one, this 150 is for study permit. If it is visitor's visa, it is 100. So, you can imagine someone charging as high as 5 million naira to process Canadian visa for you that he is not even sure he's going to obtain for you. There is no guarantee. There is no guarantee, okay? So this guy is charging 5 million naira for something that is less than 200K. Let's continue. Ujaren said the suspect had also promised the victim a job. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm laughing. He promised him a job upon arrival in Canada, but he only delivered fake visas to his victims. And all efforts to recover the money were futile. <laughs> hey, I laugh in Igbo. <laughs> this, the suspect will be charged to court as soon as the investigation is concluded. Now, guys, this is one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing on this channel. To encourage you to learn how to do these things yourself. To so encourage you to learn how to apply for visas yourself, apply to schools for, for admission. There is no big deal. This is, these things are not difficult, but these agents make, make it look difficult so that you would employ their services. Now, if you must use an agent, ensure that that agent is a real one. Ensure that that agent is a real one. A lot of fake, fake agents 
are everywhere. Now, please go to the comment section if you have encountered fake agents before in your quest for a visa or in your quest for admission to schools, whether it's Canada or, or not, whatever the country is, if you have had any encounter with fake agents, please let me know in the comment section. Drop your comments in the comment, comment section. So guys, this is why I do this thing. Come to my channel, tell other people. I give you information that you need to process your visa, to, to apply for your admission to schools. These things are not difficult. Why should you spend even 500,000 Naira for something that is less than that? Why? Most application fees, school application fees, are like 100 Canadian dollars. And if you check 100 Canadian dollars with this, the exchange rate for today, which I'm not very sure, but let's put it at 450, 500, black market, all right? So let's, so let's say 450, 500. So that means $100 will give you like 45,000 or even less. That is for applying to schools. And then for applying, for your study permit, I already mentioned how much it is. Calculate everything and that will give you the total amount you can spend while you're pursuing this dream. So I thought to bring you guys this breaking news so that you're careful whose services you engage. Lots of people out there are, are frauds. Lots of people posing to be agents out there are frauds. Imagine someone issuing you a visa, <laughs> fake visa. Okay, I've heard this story. Somebody got visa. She used all these fake agents, got to the airport, only to be denied flying because they found out the visa was fake. You can't travel with a fake visa. You can't get away with it. And then he's promising you job. Who told you? If he had such connections, he will not be here. If that guy had such connections, he himself will be in Canada. True or false? Let me know what you think in the comment section. If he has such connections, he will be in Canada. If he had such connections, he will send all his family members there. So we should, we should think about these things before committing our resources to someone. But here I give you I give you information, I give you authentic information, and I have mentioned it here. Any information you don't see for immigration purposes, any information you don't see on the cic.gc.ca website is not real. Always confirm whatever information on that website so that nobody will defraud you. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Go to the comment section and let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of this guy before? Have you ever done business with him? What do you think? All right, so I'll be, I'll be ending this video here today. But until I come your way next time, be safe. And always remember that your life is your responsibility. God bless you.